The life that I live in this body that you see in this flesh, I live by faith. In other words, my role in that living is dependence. Hey there, wanted to just share a quick nugget with you guys. There's a, a sort of tension between the idea of our activity by faith and God's work by grace. And Paul didn't struggle with this in scripture. He said things like, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And so he, and yet Paul's the same one who said, uh, you know, I am no longer the one doing the living in Galatians 2.20, but Christ now is the one doing the living through me. And then he explains it in that very verse, the second half of Galatians 2.20, uh, we tend to camp on the first half, which is beautiful. I have been crucified with Christ, meaning just me apart from God uh, no longer lives. But now Christ is the one doing the living in me. We camp on that, and, and we should, because most of the church doesn't realize how dead they are apart from Christ and how alive they are in Christ. In fact, most of the world doesn't realize how dead they are apart from Christ and how alive they could be in Christ. But the second half of that verse is critical to understanding then how Christ lives through us. He says, I, meaning apart from Christ, no longer live, but Christ now lives in me. Christ is the one doing the living. And then he, here's the critical piece. Here's the explanation. The life that I live in this body that you see in this flesh, I live by faith. In other words, my role in that living is dependence. So Christ is the one who's doing the activity, and my activity is faith, dependence. So here's how this works. The reason that Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, is because it's Christ who's doing the living as we depend upon him. His grace is working as we, by faith, are letting him. That allowance is our choice. Our faith is not what we do for God. Our faith is what we choose to let Christ do through us. Let me say that again. Our faith is never what we choose to do for God or, or what we do for him. My faith is not my activity for God. Instead, my faith is the choice to allow Christ to do what he wants through me. I trust him. I depend upon him. That's my faith. But then what he does through me, only he can accomplish. So even God's revelation and renewing of my mind is him revealing in my choosing to believe. My faith doesn't merit his grace, but his grace, his initiation in my life is then uh, uh, something that I choose to reject or receive. So we believe our repentance, the renewing of our mind, right? Repentance is the changing of our thinking. Well, that's God's revelation by grace meeting my receptivity by faith, and it, and it becomes revelation. He's revealing something to me. I'm receiving it by faith, and that brings about a renewing of the mind, which causes transformation in my mind, will, and emotions. So we are a new creation. As we believe the work that he's done, we experience it as true. So I get to choose by faith to trust God is true, that what he says is true, that what he's done is true, and to let him do what he wants in and through me because him living in me in the person and spirit of Christ is true. So again, faith is not what we do for God. Faith is what we allow Christ to do through us. I hope that helps you. We shouldn't be eliminating faith from the equation of God's activity, but we shouldn't ever think that our faith somehow causes or merits his activity. Instead, his activity is by grace, and my faith receives and allows it by choice. He's not forcing himself upon me. He's not forcing his work through me. He's wanting this relational participation that he would work by grace and that we would receive and allow that by faith. That We choose what we could never merit or accomplish. Our faith is not what we do for God. Our faith is what we allow God to do with us and Christ to do through us by his Holy Spirit 
in us. Be encouraged in that today that God doesn't operate independently of you and I don't operate independently of him for him, but rather he invites us to allow in participation his work through us by grace for his glory. That's how faith and grace work together to the glory of God in our lives and experience and revelation in transformation by the renewing of our mind. Uh, have an awesome day walking in the ridiculous grace of Christ in you, the hope of glory. Thank you guys. Bye.